Alright guys, welcome back, and now that we got all those animations loaded in, and it knows how to use those different animations and what the names of them are, we need to tell the game exactly when to use each animation. So basically we created an animation to make the guy run, but we didn't tell the game when we should use it yet. So in order to do this, we need to hop over to the event sheets and said when a specific event occurs, use this animation. Simple stuff. So the first thing I'm going to be taking care of is him running. So for this, we need to add an event and also remember that what we want to look out for is this player box. This player is basically just the animation, but this player box is the thing that the game is going to recognize. It's pretty much the thing that the user is going to control, but the player doesn't even know it. That's like behind the scenes stuff. So what we want to do is we want to check when the player starts moving this player box. So what we can do is scroll down to platform on move basically saying when this box starts moving then what does that mean? That means the player pressed left or right started moving so whenever this happens what animation do we want to occur? Well the first thing we want to do is set the animation to idle to run. So the add action in the animation is of course the player. This box is animated, it's always going to be a box. So once they start moving the box, start animating the player. And the animation for this is set animation. Here it is right here. And right now you just type in um, the name of the animation. And if you forgot, it's idle to run. And of course you just want to play from the beginning of the animation. So done. So basically whenever the box starts moving, set the animation to standing still to start running. Now what we need to do next is say this, once this animation gets over, then just use the running animation. So it's going to be idle, idle to run, and then once this animation ends, use the idle, or excuse me, use the running animation. So the event for this is of course, we want to check if the player, because that's the one the animation is occurring on, and we want to put animation on finished and for this we just go ahead and type in idle to run and hit done so basically saying when the idle to run animation is finished what do you want to do well very simple stuff here we just want to set the animation of the player to of course run and hit done and of course you're gonna hit play for from beginning from pretty much all of these so the last one we wanna say is this right now we got the user and uh, he can make his player run but we didn't tell him okay when the dude stops running you need to go back to idle because you know it's well just common sense so what we need to do now is we need to add another event and remember whenever we're tracking the movement of something we use this player box whenever we're looking out for animations we use this but we want to check is the player did he stop moving so is the player box and scroll down to remember it's a platform behavior so on moved and we want to actually change it on stopped that's what I meant to do so basically when this box is stopped or stopped moving what do we want to do well all we want to do is set the player animation to set the animation to idle done so right now what we did in this tutorial in I'll show you guys real quick and it's just gonna look like he's running which is actually perfect but once he goes right it looks like he's just moving into running but there's actually a idle to run in between there so he goes from idle to idle to run to running and then when he stops he goes back to idle so that's exactly how we wanted our behavior to act the only thing now is look at him jump it looks really weird he's like not even moving his feet he's just like teleporting up and also once he's running <laughs> that looks kind of weird too like he's doing some weird like moonwalk or something so and well that's another issue right there so right now we're going to be fixing all this issue so he doesn't do like the running man or anything like that. So uh, 
Hopefully you guys understood that tutorial. If not, remember to ask me uh, on my forum. I'll be happy to answer it for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.